my name is Prairie Ubersert. I'm the founder of Tossan Cotton Village. Um, and today I'll walk you through a little bit about who we are and um, what our needs are. Okay. So Tossan Cotton Village is an ethical textile studio and a learning center bridging the gap between traditional artisans and contemporary designers. Um, we offer custom services to designers and businesses uh, searching for a source of high quality eco-conscious fabrics. Our location is beside the Mekong River, um, which means we grow and process our own cotton, which we then dye with natural dyes. We have a strong relationship with our local community and are deeply committed to supporting all of our employees through fair employment and transparent business practices. Um, so. Because we grow our cotton next to the Mekong River, um, there is no monoculture because it's very small scale. Uh, it's based on seasonal um, monsoon. Um, it's on a small scale, it's fertilizer free, pesticide free, and there's little care and maintenance required. So it's entirely sustainable and the impact of this cotton is very minimal to the environment. Um, the problem that we faced in uh, as we're doing our business is that um, around the area, weavers grow and sell their own raw cotton, but when they want to produce their own fabrics, they buy imported sheep machine spun cotton, um, which basically means the fact that they don't have a means of processing their own cotton. They grow, uh, they, once they grow their cotton and harvest it, they uh, sell it. And once they want to weave on their own, they have to buy already processed cotton. The other problem that we're facing is a loss of knowledge from generational gaps and outward migrations. So less and less people practicing traditional methods and people moving to cities like Bangkok to find employment. Um, so our purpose is to promote sustainable practices to create global change. And our vision is to be a learning center where all people can experience ethical and sustainable cotton production. And our mission is to build empowered communities by revitalizing traditional textile methods by the Mekong River and providing stable, fair employment to artisans of all generations. Um, so we established a physical location called Cotton Village, where we're open to both tourists and we're a space where um, we can process the cotton and show people locally and tourists how um, the cotton is processed here by hand or with machinery um, and also to provide like a learning center and story, a place to tell story about the cotton here. Um, so what we do is we work with head villagers um, to transparently source and purchase cotton from there uh, directly from them. And then we have these ginning machines on the right side here. Um, where we gin the cotton, which means to separate the seed and the fluff. And it's not necessarily a brand new technology. And we also um, teach the traditional way of ginning cotton as well. Um, but then once we're done ginning, we return the seeds to the villagers so they can grow next year without any extra cost to them. And then we take our cotton fluff, we send it to a factory in Bangkok. Um, for them to process our fibers. And this factory is run with solar panels as well. And this is the yarn that we have after it's been processed. The left side are called slivers, which we then distribute back to villagers so they can do hand spinning. And then the right side is uh, a yarn, yarn size 10 in a cone. Yeah, so we, you know, we take the yarn that we process so that villagers who grow this cotton themselves can use their yarn again to process, to, to weave and dye um, and to make their own fabrics with their own cotton. And then we also develop our learning center, our physical cotton village um, to educate visitors of all ages and from all backgrounds and to really highlight the story of how the cotton is grown. We have workshops and activities. And we also have villagers um, come and train um, on how to better their dye, how to use different methods, how to apply new technology and stuff like that. So more and more people can um, be employed um, through the art and the, the craft. Here are some products that we made. 
So we mostly make um, yarn, uh, we mostly make yarn and weave them into fabric. And then we have customers who buy this yarn. For instance, this is Rare and Fair who made these dresses from our fabric to sell to the UK. And then we have Tenun Fashion Week, which um, we did ourselves um, to showcase where our fabrics can be made into. Tenun Fashion Week was in Malaysia um, and it was a virtual fashion week as well. Um, we also make hotel goods um, for Tosang Heritage. So we made pants, bathrobes, um, everything from pillows to bed runners to basket decorations. Um, but what we want to focus more on is selling fabrics. Um, so producing fabrics, it's what uh, the villagers around here are comfortable with um, instead of transforming the fabric that we have into products. We want to focus on creating more employment through making and producing more fabrics. We also have services um, and these are targeted more towards designers who want to source from um, local villagers and local communities, but don't really have a means of communicating with them. So through Cotton Village, we can easily monitor and communicate through the network that we have and uh, go all the way from customizing their own colors to like doing um, custom orders of embroidery and um, simple stitching. Um, we use, with our cotton, we use 100% sustainable natural dyes, which we forage from the area as well as source um, from other places in Thailand where they produce such as indigo um, organically. Um, and we really wanna highlight the fact that we really do everything every step of the way um, sustainably, you know, all the way from the way we grow our cotton, the way we work with our community, our hand woven and hand spun fabric is all made with hand and employs um, locals. And the dye process is all plant-based dyes. So when we um, dispose of our waste, everything is biodegradable. I wanna highlight our purpose, vision and mission again, um, to say that we don't really want necessarily to sell products and we want to have Cotton Village more of an experience center and something that we can provide as a service for people to learn, for people to have opportunities to make connections with villagers, um, as well as be a transparent um, production of textiles. So what's next for us is that like, um, as I said, we wanna aim on, we wanna aim to focus to be a producer and an educator um, so we need help and we need to um, have aid in sales and marketing because we don't necessarily want to do B2C work. Uh, we want to do B2B as well. And um, our B2C, we want to do just for our physical location where we have customers come in and learn. Um, and most of our business has been going through COVID, has been um, operating through COVID. Um, and so we want to continue our outreach and we're also um, accepting any, anyone interested in volunteer work as well, both um, online and physically. And that's pretty much it for Tossang Cotton Village. Thank you.